too? SC Sport News. Welcome to 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 SC Sport News. Hey everybody, welcome to the SC Sport News Show, and welcome to our special segment of SC Sport Wars. I'm the Mulatto Jones. I'm Jason. I'm Austin. And I'm Ricky. And today we're going to have some competition, so we're going to be picking our Super Bowl teams. Not the winner, just who's going to be in it. So guys, let's go ahead and start out. I have a number here. And we'll go around. What number? One through three that I picked. I'm going to say one. Two. I got three. three. Okay, so it was one. So let's go ahead and start out with your AFC team. Indianapolis. All right. I'm actually going to go with New England. Ooh. I'm going I'm to rock Miami. Mm. Very nice. Right. So let's do one more round here. Um, and in the sake of fairness, I'm going to pick another number. Um, let's start out with you. What number did I pick? One, three, three. I'm going to go one. I'm going to go three. I'm going to go two. <laughs> and it was two. <laughs> so, good pick in there. Who's going to be the NFC team that's going to be in Super Bowl? I got Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, even though I'm going to go Packers still. There's the Packers. Ricky A, you know, you get one. I know. Man, that's he, tough he, now. He did have some similar answers there. Yeah. That's why. You know, I'm going to go with the Atlanta Falcons. Ooh, mm. okay. Sleeper. Atlanta yeah. Falcons. Yeah. ATL. <laughs> okay, so now let's go around the horn here. Nah, I probably shouldn't say that. No, we, might, yeah. we might get sued. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's, let's go around the couches. <laughs> yeah, <there you laughs> go. So, let's go around here. Give me the case as to why you think the Colts will make it into the Super Bowl. Um, Andrew Luck, the way he's been playing the last few years is just phenomenal. Uh, I mean, as of last year, he really didn't have a lot of weapons besides T.Y. Hilton. And then, as of this year, they brought in Frank Gore, former Niner, and also Andre Johnson. The team, the offense is just going to be unstoppable. They're just, Andrew Luck is Andrew Luck. He's just been playing so phenomenal over the last few years. He's just going to be even better this year. All right. Good. Good answer. Austin. Uh, I chose New England because, well, he got one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. As your QB and Tom Brady, he's proven time and time again that he don't really need, you know, star wide receivers, running backs, or whatnot. So as your, as your, uh, you know, to win the Super Bowls, he has what four Super Bowls, and now with a healthy Gronkowski, you could be that fifth ring that only I think one person in NFL history has. And I went with Miami. I mean, you saw him towards the end of the year; they were really gaining momentum. Got some good pickups, you know, and Dom can sue on that defensive side to solidify the defense. That was kind of a weak spot for him. Yeah, you know, and I, I think it, you know, they got a good quarterback there. It's going to take him a little bit of time to, to get, you know, another year solidified under his belt with that team, but I think they're going to be red hot this year. All right, yeah. Fantastic answers there. Um, let's go ahead and let's roll around. Let's reverse it this time in the sake of fairness. Uh, give me why the Falcons are gonna make it to the Super Bowl. I think the Falcons are gonna are gonna be there. You know, your Matt Ryan's always a hot player. You got Julio Jones there, and other than you know, in that division, there's nobody there. So they're gonna be top top there <laughs> and that whole little conference is kind of lacking with some of the injuries that are going on uh suspensions it's gonna be a i think kind of a sleeper 
you know, is, is going to be one of them that's going to come out and win it. Sure. Um, Austin, so you have the Packers. I do. Even with the recent injuries to Nelson, Cobb, I still think Aaron Rodgers is one of the top dogs in the NFL right now. He can just about do anything. And and even with the re- receiving core injury now, you got Eddie Lace. He's just this truck right through the offensive, you know, defense line there. And it's just, it may not be the popular pick right now, but I still think even with those injuries, they could make a run in that NFC. And so you guys know, I'm not going to be biased. <laughs> you know, I, I like Big Packer fan. But, but uh, you know, I'll be a fan. <laughs> They're going to choke. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get to that too. So yeah. we'll see why. Um, maybe you have the Seahawks. Again, Seattle, the way they've been playing the last few years. And then, in addition, they just got Jimmy Graham. That's just going to make that offense. That offense is going to be unstoppable, literally. that That's probably the scariest offense in the NFL right now, by far. Okay, so now we're going to go through, and we're going to have these guys debunk their competitors' answers. So this time we're going to start with you, Austin. As Let's start out with any team. I mean, just whoever you want to pick on, why that might be not a smart choice. Oh, let's see. I'm sorry, Ricky. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to have to go with your Atlanta Falcons pick here. Yeah. Just because... Uh, sleeper pick. <laughs> it's, you know, they were you know a decent team, but lately Matt Ryan hasn't really been... Exactly, shown his he, his clear potential that he had, you know, three four years ago, and they they don't got much of a running game right now. I don't know. They could win the division. They might because the division's kind of iffy, especially last year's. But the Falcon, I don't know about making the Super Bowl playoffs. Maybe Super Bowl, they'd have to get a decent running game going on. Jason, we're going to go to you. For NFC wise? So, I mean, and it can be multiple teams if you have multiple things to say about them, but teams that it can be any of their choices, whatever choices they have. I mean, Ricky again, I'm going to have to (laughs) pounce on you, kind of on Austin too. Um, Well, Ricky, I'll start off with you. Atlanta, again. (laughs) They they can't beat Seattle. There's no way that team can beat Seattle in the NFC. I mean, there's... What? Russell Wilson, uh, Jimmy Graham, Marshawn Lynch. The whole offensive line versus... Let's let's compare offensive line with Matt Ryan and then versus Seattle. Who has got a... You know... As well as everybody else gonna watch this video, uh, <laughs> Seattle's got a better offensive side of the ball than Atlanta does. There's, there's no doubt in my mind. I don't Atlanta's defense. They, there's no way they could hold up with Seattle's offense. Again, Austin, you on the other hand, I'm I hate the Packers so uh, much being a Vikings fan. But if they do lose Randall Cobb for the year, there's, there's no team. In the NFC, that could be Seattle. This is me. All right. So, Ricky, what do you have to say about these picks? I want to pick on both these guys. <laughs> Jason, I'll start with you uh, with your Colts pick. I do think they are going to be a very hot offensive team. Their defense, on the other hand, is that's going to be the make or break. If, if their defense can hold... They, they can go far, but they've got that curse of making it to the playoffs. I'm crushed. <laughs> and just choking the you know, first round of the playoffs. But we'll have to see. And also, I'll switch over to you with your Packers pick. I know it's still really up in the air with a lot of it, but I think still losing Jordy Nelson for sure. We'll have to wait and see what's going on with Cobb and all of that whole ordeal. But I don't know. That... I I kind of agree with you on it. You know, Aaron Rodgers could pull it off, but I think injuries are really going to hurt him. We'll have to see. All right, so now for this last round, we're going to have kind of a little frenzy round. 
So we'll have two minutes for you guys. Um, anybody can chime in. You guys can debate against each other. I can go back and forth however <laughs> you want to do it. But if you guys want to debunk anyone's theories as to why your team isn't good in a specific area or why they are better in a specific area, um, you can have at it. <laughs> so it's kind of just free. Ricky, let's go against with you and your Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. No Atlanta. I, mean, I, I give you credit and respect to giving you know giving a sleeper pick because you always yeah. got to go with you got to find that sleeper there's, team. There's that got to be that can, one Cinderella story. Yeah, exactly. I like the Cinderella stories, but. This, on the other hand, is this is like <laughs> this is like a sleeping beauty. <laughs> 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 they'll make the playoffs. They'll make the playoffs. But again, like I said before, they are, there's no that Atlanta team cannot play against Seattle. There's no yeah, way. Let's have but, you guys focus on the AFC actually. Though. AFC. AFC? Is you, Miami. Yeah. Miami is a is good great team, but yeah. again, not as good as anyone. But I don't know. Be. No. I think they can win that division. Back to all yeah. the five rings. Let's let's check yeah. some more Tom Brady. Um, let's play with flat footballs. Um, yeah. That was just for that time. Well, what about those? You know, last year with the deflated footballs, yeah. But what about the other three rings? Yeah. He won hey, with the Spygate year, the year that he won the the year that he won that Super Bowl. Though mm -hmm. they got in trouble with that whole Spygate thing. The yeah. only reason he should only have two rings. What? But what puts what puts the Colts over the Pats or the Pats over the Colts? The Colts, they're a younger team, and they're just coming out, and they're hungry. Yeah. yeah. Pats on the hand, I've more experience. They have more experience at being in this top level of the game. You know, Tom Brady, Gronkowski, they they've been here before. Take out take out Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. Who do you got? Julian Nobody. Edelman. You got Gray. You got you got Tom Brady develops these guys into from nobodies to just. Well, yeah, with the quarterback and Tom Brady, of yeah. course, you know that's, yeah. that's the only you thing. Take, you know, you but take, if you take Tom Brady and Gronkowski out of there, okay. Well, but if you ding, ding, of... ding 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 <laughs> ding, I don't like this. This, this horseshit. <laughs> All right, guys, awesome answers. It was tough, John. I mean, you guys gave some really good, good answers here. Um, so I'm gonna go through. We're gonna have two winners here that'll go through to the next round. And then they'll go head to head in our SC around the couch. SC <laughs> around the couch. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the winner in the AFC, and that is the Patriots. So, Boo. so the Pats. No one really gave. I think the cheating is uh, kind of a. It's a flaky answer to give when trying to You're knock fired him. as a host. <laughs> um, it's a flaky answer to give when trying to knock them down. Just because you, it's so... Uh, you, no one can perceive it in one way. Um, we don't know how long it's been going on. They have won multiple other mm -hmm. Super Bowls, like you mentioned. And with the Colts, someone brought up the point that their defense just isn't there. No one brought up... the. I mean, you said the Pats have a lot of experience, and that's all around the board. The Colts, you only mentioned Luck, and then their offensive weapons and Goran Johnson. You didn't really mention... How, it, they didn't mention that, though. I don't know. mention why their defense would no. be able to hold on and get them to the Super Bowl. Ricky, they both kind of knocked on... <laughs> the Falcons, <laughs> Well, the Dolphins first. Yeah. Um, just with the QB not being uh, fully into his, his position yet. Uh, they are building a lot of momentum, so I think they are a team on the rise, but just not enough to get into the yeah. Super Bowl there. We're going to jump over to the NFC, and I was really surprised because I couldn't put it down, but it is the Seahawks for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> um, some right reasons, but you never once mentioned their defense. Yeah, you know, Richard Sherman and any uh, At all. chancellor. Legion of Doom. Like, so, Legion I mean... Doom. That would have easily just gotten you like right in. I'm um, with the Packers, the injuries, people bringing that up. Um, that's the biggest thing for them. Uh, their defense, no one mentioned their defense either. So all I had to go off of was, you know, Rodgers, Lacey, and then a few maybe other weapons. The Falcons is where they just <laughs> yeah. they yeah they just throw it. Sorry. Um, it's a good a good pick. Outside of those two teams, it was hard to pick yeah, the NFC team. So, 
Uh, really good answers, though. Just not enough. Um, Ryan could say he's on maybe a decline in a way. He hasn't been himself in the last couple of years. But uh, weak running game. Mm-hmm. Austin pointed that out. So our winners are going to be Jason and Austin heading into our next round. Ricky, you're actually going to help me judge this next round, though. So this next round is going to be a speed round. So I'm going to ask you guys a specific question, and I want you to give me, um, I want you to give me an answer, and then just a quick little 15 to 20 second reason why you picked that answer. We're going to have three of these. The winner will win the title of <laughs> SC champion. Um, Ricky, I want you to help me because these guys, as soon as I ask the question, you guys chime in with your answer. So if you pick it first, so if I say who was the MVP last year, you guys, you're both going to answer. Whoever says it first gets, gets the... But it also might be a question as to <coughs> who's going to win the MVP this year. And if you both say Aaron Rodgers, whoever said first gets to pick them, the next person has to pick someone else. All right. All right. Ready? Yep. Earbuds <laughs> on. Okay, guys. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I thought that's what we were really doing. No. Let's go. All right, guys. Who will win the Super Bowl? Seahawks. Seattle, all the way. They're, again, back to the same defense. A lot of their defense was back from last year, and now they just got another offensive weapon in Jimmy Graham. That's all I can say about Seattle. All right, well, on my hand, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with my AFC pick. I'm going to go Patriots, just because. Tom Brady has, even though he's going to be missing the first few games, he's going to be back to his normal self. He's going to have that experience, and he's going to just rail through that division. He's going to be top dog right there. Okay, so you guys will get an additional 10 to 15 seconds here. Why is his pick not good? Um, Again, it's going to hurt Tom Brady missing the first four games. I just don't think they can. that defense can handle the offense of of Seattle. Also, Seattle's defense is way better defense than New England. Again, you have every player returning from last year. Alright. Well, why I think Seattle's not. They open up their season with some really tough road games. They got at St. Louis, at Green Bay. Those are those games will determine if uh, Seattle even gets home field advantage in the NFC, which could with being at home, that's like their go-to, is being at home when winning this game. So. <laughs> <laughs> Done your research, that's what yeah. you're supposed to do on this war. <laughs> Ricky, I'm going to kind of have you help me out. Good answers there, guys. Um, I think I know who I'm kind of leaning towards. It, it's, it's tough. I like the Seattle pick with everything that's that's gone on with it. You know, in New England, that's tough, but... I'm leaning more towards the Seattle pick. That's who I had too. So uh, it, Jay takes round tough. one. Um, good answers though. Just I think Seattle kind of too much going for him right now. Um, Way too much. There's a lot of offensive weapons. It's tough. And you, yeah, and you hit on all those points. So that this time you did. <laughs> <laughs> so round two. Are you guys ready? See, hopefully we can get some buzzers. Ding, ding, ding. Who will get the most Pro Bowl votes at the quarterback position? Andrew Luck. Son of a gun. <laughs> Freaking A. I'm going to say Russell Wilson then. I, I think Andrew Luck just because T.Y. Hillen's one of the upcoming wide receivers of today. And just getting Andre Johnson, I think what Andrew Luck has done within the last couple years, he's grown into the next Peyton Manning of the, you know, with both of them being with the Colts, that he has just that strong arm where he can just throw bombs down there. And I think, especially Andre Johnson, how big he is, he can grab, snag those down. 
Uh, I'm going to say Russell Wilson. Again, he's been to the Super Bowl the last two years, besides Binance last year when they lost. But b- besides that, um, again, that offensive line protects and Russell Wilson can be Russell Wilson. And then another new target in Jimmy Graham. It's just Russell Wilson. Well, why, why, why do Russell I think Wilson not win? I see Russell Wilson not much as a passing quarterback. More, you know, he'll get maybe 200 passing yards, and he also is a running quarterback. You don't really see Wilson as a 300 plus yard, you know, passer like your Rodgers, your Manning, uh, Luck, mm-hmm. Breeze type deal. Uh, the only thing I can say really about Andrew Luck not winning, getting them all votes. Is if something big happens, that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have nothing on that. So, I do dig yeah, into that's kind of a, Yeah, that kind of sums that round up. Austin, you took that round. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have nothing. That's not <laughs> I, think, but Andrew Luck I think that's a, that's definitely a good pick. You know, Luck is. I I kind of like your reference to the paint Manning of now. He's really he stepped in and took control of that team. And other than his playoff. Kind of mishaps, can't get past the first round. Regular season, phenomenal weekend. We got that against you, son of a gun. <laughs> so, gotta be thinking. All right, for this 2015 16 season, who will be head coach of the year? <laughs> <Say it. laughs> I, I'm gonna say Indianapolis. What's his name? Chuck Pagano. Yeah, Chuck Pagano. Again, okay. uh, the way the way he's been over the last few years getting that offense ready, it's just that their defense is the only thing that scares me. But besides that, the way he's brought in Andrew Luck, the way he brought in top guys like Frank Gore, Andre Johnson, T. Y. Hilton, like what what can you ask for a better coach besides Chuck Pagano? <laughs> I got to say. Well, I'm going to have to Well, I'm going to have to go with uh I'm going to go different here. I'm going to go Mike Tomlin right here. Go with Mike Tomlin. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. They have I think one of the most underrated wide receivers I know, Antonio Brown. He's just led this team he, he it's leading this young defensive core right here that has been replaced him because with Palmalu out and you know he's leading bring this team in to you might not think that they're gonna be one of the best teams, but he has brought this team together and I think you know, he's underrated, he's won he has experience at being, you know, top head coach, winning the Super Bowl and bringing everybody together to uh I'm going to say again, Chuck Pagano again, can Pittsburgh hold up against New England's offense? Can their defense hold? Can can Big Ben lead them to the AFC Championship game? Can that defense stay healthy? Honestly, if Big Ben, say Antonio Brown goes down, who else does he have to go to? Yeah, Bell, Le'Veon right? Bell. Yeah, but then you got Frank Gore. You got it. but Frank Gore. Frank Gore, yes, he's old, but yeah, he's still he, one of the best backs in the league. You got Andre Johnson. I don't again. know. They're Gore and Andre Johnson. And, and T.Y. Kinda, Hilton. And I was kind of going against my indie pick, but Andre Johnson isn't exactly, you know, young anymore. Gore, he just kind of fizzled out in San Francisco where he was getting replaced. He's going back yeah. down on the depth chart where because you don't have an offensive line there to protect. But and you don't have an offensive line there to open up gaps like you will in Indianapolis. But Indy- you don't have you have a receiving core in Indianapolis. But you guys got no defense though. That's the only thing. That's, that's what Pittsburgh's been known for though is their, their hard knock right. defense. Their defense. But like I say, Antonio Brown goes down. You, you're gonna rely on Le'Veon Bell. You can't root the three. Well, I mean, all right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You do need to get a <laughs> See, that was intense. Yeah. That was I get fire in that. Very nice. I like to see that. Um, wow. That was a, <laughs> that's a tough one. You guys gave really good answers. You guys gave a lot of kind of uh, deflects as far as why someone else's choice wasn't good. 
I think I have mine. I just want you to kind of reassure me that my choice is right. Who, what did you see in that round? I like the Mike Tomlin pick. I mean, he is, you know, when you think about, you know, I like what you said in the, when you asked the question about it's not necessarily the most wins, and that that's what the coach of the year is about. It's how you coach your team, not necessarily how you do. Uh, then with Chuck Pagano, yeah, he's really solidified that team. You know, I, I do think that's going to be my pick is the Chuck Pagano pick. Okay. Um. So I want to just put in kind of what you guys were saying. Based on the answers, India has a good offense. Austin, you did a good job, though, of kind of knocking down some of those players. Gore's not really in his prime anymore. Johnson's not really in his prime anymore. You mentioned the defense. You brought up a good point with certain players going out, who are they, who are they going to go to, that their defense, while it is a little bit more uh, talent, uh, they're not the most experienced, they're not the best defense out there. the young guys. That, was, that defense is going to be really shaky too with Tom Lawler down. What did it though, honestly for me, what did it was, was you knocking on the acquisitions that the Colts got. And then on top of that was the fact that you kind of relied on players getting hurt in order for, for them to not do well, which I think if they did have one or two injuries like that, they could still be good enough to where Tomlin could make that team in, I know. a playoff team and then and then he could get that award. You know, I think in your case, he would have to win the Super Bowl in order to do that. Uh, just because they've been good throughout the years. They haven't really done anything. It's just the facts that Austin brought up. So for that reason, Austin, you are going to be crowned yeah. the very oh, first. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. SC oh, shit. Sport Wars. SC Sport Wars <laughs> champion. The answers you guys gave, that's what that's what leads to the decision. You can hate on the host. <laughs> there will be a new host um, next week for our next show. Um, so, I don't want to be the bad guy. <laughs> he is a bad guy. He's a Packers fan. So, hey, at least I didn't dance that, you know. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching SC Sport Wars. Please check out our website, scsportnews.com. Follow us on Twitter. Like our page on Facebook. Watch all of our videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Thanks. See you.